got some guitars, but that's Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Andrew here, and today I'm working on a neck. Actually, we're working on these necks here. This neck and this neck. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put clay dots into the holes. Now this is the clay dot that I'm using. I got orange, but probably what I'll use is this one here, the um, turquoise colored blue. And you got to put these in and put them in the oven for like a half an hour at like 275 or something like that. So the problem I got with using these necks or doing it on these necks is this fretboard is glued on to the maple. And if I throw this in the oven for half an hour at 275, I'm thinking this glue is going to soften up underneath here and this fretboard is going to start peeling off. I don't know if it will or not, but it might. On this neck, you got five piece glued together here plus the fretboard glued on plus the peg head itself is glued on at a 15 degree angle. So there's a lot of glue joints on this one. So what I'm going to do instead is this neck here. This is a neck that I built about 10 years ago or so. And it's a junk neck. And I've, you know, did some inlays on it and stupid stuff like that. But I drilled out a couple holes. And what I'm going to do is fill, probably use the orange, and fill it up and then throw this in the oven for um, a half hour or so at 275 and see if the fretboard starts to peel off or see if because it's a multi-laminate two or three pieces see if any of the glue joints start to come apart and that way if it does then i'm not going to ruin one of my good necks but if it doesn't then i know i'll be safe to go ahead and do the same thing on these ones just fill the holes in throw it in the oven for a half hour so i got my uh, four dots filled up and i used the orange so now i'm just going to go ahead and throw this thing in the oven give it a half hour See what happens and we'll come back and take a look at this neck once I pull it out of the oven. So I just pulled this thing out of the oven. It's still, still kind of hot. Especially if you touch the, touch the frets. That's really hot. So anyways, um, the fretboard's not peeling off. There's a veneer up on a peg head. It's not even peeling off. So I think we're going to be all right. I think we'll be all right to, wow, that's hot. 275 for about 35 minutes is what, I, is what I had it on for. And um, the dots are definitely hard. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and grab the other two necks. Go ahead and get the um, clay put in them. And then we'll um, get them to throw it in the oven. So I went ahead and got all my clay. Looks kind of rough, but it's gonna look rough. We'll sand it down once it's done. We've got both of these, the dots in them. And um, I made them, I put a lot more in than what I needed that way. If it shrinks or anything, I'm still gonna have enough in there. We'll come back through with the radius block and sand it smooth. And it'll look like dots at that point. But this fretboard's not radius yet, so it's not that big of a deal, but I still put a little bit more in just in case it shrinks some. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the oven and we'll see what happens. I pulled these out of the oven about an hour ago, and the the dots are nice and hard. I left them cool for a while. They were really hard, now they came out. But we had a couple problems. Um, doo -doo -doo. That whole side of the fretboard from here back to about here had actually started to pull away from the fretboard, or from the neck itself. So I ran over. And grab the couple clamps you can see right here there's a tiny gap where I didn't get it clamped down get it clamped down till it cooled and once it cooled it was just pretty much good to go on this one so and on this side here you can see a small gap um, right here so but this ain't bad um, I can work with this but the other one didn't get away so lucky this was what i was afraid of so the dots are good and the fretboard for the most part is pretty good if you go back to the back back here there's a little gap come on this side you can see the gap there the whole length of this gap 
there's a gap, there's a gap. But that's not even that big of a deal. The problem we got is the back right there. All that, them two walnut stripes that run the whole length there, they're all pulled away. And the whole length of it, it's got gaps on both sides where the glue, you can see where the glue came out. That's the glue that came back out of the hole. I got gaps. This neck is basically junk now. Um, the dots are good, but the neck itself is basically shot. I checked out other spots. Everything else looked good. Like I said, the fretboard started to peel off this one, and I, I put some clamps on to try to get it down, but I didn't get it all down. And that wouldn't even be a bad problem. I could just remove the fretboard, sand everything flush, and re-glue it on. That wouldn't be bad, but with this, I don't know if you can see that or not, them gaps. But you got, you can see it right there a little bit. This whole bottom where all this glue is, there's a gap in there, the thickness. I don't know, you could fit, you could almost fit a guitar pick in there, I think. Let's see here. So that's the that's the thickness of the gap that's in there. There you can see it good. The whole length of that. The top one not as bad, but and I did throw a bunch of clamps on here when I first pulled it out. It's still hot, hoping I could squeeze this back together, and it just didn't squeeze. I'm I'm thinking the the, the fretboard being glued on didn't let the wood come together. I don't know why it wouldn't squeeze back together. But up here is a nice gap up here. I mean, that'll easily put a, a guitar pick in there. So, I don't know. I guess I'm going back to the drawing board on this one. That sucks because this was really close to being done. This was really close to being done. And, I don't know. Whatever, huh? Anyways, that sucks. But whatever. I guess I'll be making another neck. Um, I guess I could cut this thing apart, but I don't know about that. I don't know how you'd fix that. I really don't. Anyways, um, one screwed up neck and one neck that's going to actually work. So, I don't know if that's a win-win. That's a, I don't know what that is. But, anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys in another video.